Good morning and welcome to the Task Morning Show. In the wake of the rising coronavirus cases in the country, the Supreme Committee has imposed a night lockdown between 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. starting from today, June 20th, until further notice. In a statement issued, the committee said there will be a movement ban on individuals and vehicles, including closing all public places and commercial activities during the lockdown period. However, essential businesses will be allowed to remain open and home delivery services are exempted from the lockdown. More than 12,500 people have self-registered in 24 hours through the online booking system to take the coronavirus vaccine, Ministry of Health said on Friday. On Thursday, the MOH launched the online booking service for taking vaccination appointments through the website and the Tarasud Plus app. People aged 45 and above are now eligible to book appointments to take their coronavirus vaccination that will begin from today, June 20th. The main vaccination center at the Oman Convention Exhibition Center will work from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. on weekdays and from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. Abdullah Salim Al Salmi, executive president of the Capital Market Authority, affirmed that the amendments on the insurance companies law and the takaful insurance law promulgated under the recent royal decrees are related to the regulation of health insurance the focus on the amendments is on enhancing the regulatory readiness of the health insurance system in the sultanate in response to its increasing significance and the rapid growth in the volume of health insurance market during the past period explained al salmi In a statement to Oman News Agency, Al Salmi said that the average annual growth of this vital sector during the past 8 years was 19%, leading all other insurance sectors by seizing 34% of the gross insurance premiums in the year 2020, worth 466 million Omani riyals. A total of 5 commercial activities were ordered to close in Oman in less than a week. while a top hotel was fined for violating the supreme committee decisions as authorities have intensified inspection campaigns across the country in the wake of the rising coronavirus cases the violations found during the inspections conducted were mostly related to physical distancing and allowing more than 30% of the prescribed capacity in ballrooms and celebration halls on thursday the authorities closed the london center store in ibra while Intercontinental Hotel was issued a notice for allowing for organizing an event without committing to the authorized capacity of the celebration halls. Thank you for joining us on the TAS Morning Show. To get the latest updates, log on to theurabianstories.com.